All right, so this week's weekly challenge was uh, an SSTO, a single stage to orbit in under, I think it's four and a half minutes, something like that. And then hard mode is under three and a half. The idea was that uh, there's going to be tourist space planes. And if you want to ride to space, you're going to need... Uh, you're going to need something simple to be profitable. So uh, the idea was make an SSTO that you can get up into orbit nice and quickly, bring it back, refuel, and be an efficient business. Uh, so this challenge is pretty easy to get the hard mode. If you go small, if you just put a rapier on the back of a fuel tank and a jet thing, uh, the cockpit, you can get up to orbit in three minutes with no issues at all. Uh, but you can't really have any passengers in that. that. That's not a very good space tourist system. So I put 16 passengers in that last compartment there right next to all the rapier engines. Hopefully it doesn't get too hot. I don't know, maybe Kerbals are uh, a little more resistant to heat. So I've got the six turbojets and six rapier engines that are uh, pushing forward right now on oxygen and liquid fuel. And sometime soon, they're gonna kick over to rocket fuel on the rapiers and the turbojets are gonna burn out and I'm gonna go rocket fuel all the way up into orbit. So anyone who's been following my videos, you may notice I installed a whole bunch of new mods. I've got the astronomer's visual pack now, so I get nice clouds and everything it looks all awesome. So hopefully these videos look a little bit better. I have the air to rocket switch um, set to action group one, so I was kind of playing with that for a minute. Turns out the auto switching does a fine job. I actually ended up getting it a second or two faster using auto switching. But uh, this is the attempt I recorded and I wasn't going for hard mode here. I, I just wanted to build a nice efficient tourist craft. And frankly, I think this thing looks pretty cool. All right, so now that we have pretty much all of our climbing out of the way, I'm gonna tip over and start thrusting sideways. You gotta get up that horizontal velocity, or lateral velocity, uh, so that you can get into orbit. Just going high is not very fuel efficient. Always remember to turn off your temperature monitors or your temperature gauges at least until 1.0.3 comes out. There's a memory leak on those and it will cause your game to crash if they're on screen for too long. Now just doing the final adjustments in the orbits here. we go in three minutes and no oh, I don't know 35 seconds or so I am into orbit um, so there we go 16 passengers lights on which I probably should have done that for the ascent I bet it was kind of dark in there but uh, all taken care of nice and efficient if you guys want to see more Kerbal space program videos go ahead and subscribe to my channel uh, I try to upload fairly w regularly and I do all the weekly challenges so See you guys next time.